Hi, I'm Dr. Anand Chavan, consultant orthopedic surgeon and joint replacement surgeon. I'm going to talk on the bone health and the muscle health. Now, as you know that today we how we live, it's a metro lifestyle. So we stay in one place on the chair or stand for a long time in one place and like under the AC, under the roof, not exposing to the sunlight. So what would happen because of these bad postures, the bad lifestyle? Generally our bone and the muscle health gradually deteriorates and which ignites a lot of trouble in terms of many diseases. And very commonly known nowadays is the arthritis, the obesity, the hypertension, uh, diabetic mellitus. Now how to prevent these diseases? By simple change in the lifestyle. Now bones and the muscles are very important. They help us to walk, they help us to uh, you know have a good circulation so in, in many ways they help us. Now how exactly and how uh, the bone and muscles help us? Bone has something called as the remodeling process. It's always a growing or a metabolic process goes on. The bone, part of the bone goes away, again the part of the bone gets added up. And that's called as the remodeling. Now to have that process to happen, there are a lot of factors required. One is the nutritional support, what we eat like calcium, minerals, the vitamins and uh, the mechanical stimulus that is walking with an exercise and sufficient water intake, sunlight exposure, even that is very, very important, which we do lack a lot with the lifestyle we lead with. So we have to change that and then get exposed to sunlight, do good exercises and have sufficient water and to focus much on the diet as well, which contains rich calcium, rich minerals, rich vitamins, such diet has to be taken and that's how we can possibly improve our bone health. The parallelly the muscle health also, also improves with a similar way like exercise and uh, eating good quality food. The quality doesn't mean eating heavy things, it is basically something which contains more minerals, the vitamins and calcium and basically these proteins as well. So that's why that's how the muscles also function better. If muscles function better, you do good exercises, indirectly the circulation improves and if the circulation improves then indirectly your all other organs start functioning in a better way. So you can actually prevent many diseases coming to you. As I said you that an arthritis, we take an example of an arthritis, knee arthritis. Say if your muscles are strong, if your bones are strong or your cartilage is strong, Generally, the cartilage wear and tear will not happen and because the muscles are stronger, they are like shock absorbers, they are, the load will not go on the joint much and that's how you can prevent your, prevent your joint damage and parallelly you will not have a obesity because you are on exercise and a good diet, so your obesity will not happen and that's how you can prevent the arthritis. Similar way, indirectly, you can prevent the diabetes mellitus also like sugar and uh, obesity, hypertension, st stress life, even stress also comes down with a good exercise. A plant needs certain things to grow in a better way, like the sufficient sunlight, sufficient water, sufficient minerals to grow and the good soil to grow. Now if something more or less, it cannot grow in a better way and it can actually invite the infections as well as we know generally. Similar way our body system works. Like you can't eat more also, you can't eat less also, you can't uh, you know, drink a lot of water, it doesn't mean that you have to keep drinking water only. Yeah, water is very essential, you need to drink sufficient water. Every body has its own way and own strength, own ability and own amount to drink water. You can't calculate one person having this liter and that person having that much of liter. It's your own system, depends on the basic metabolic rate. Now I'll give you one example. In generally, we know that the animals are stronger than human beings. Why they are stronger? Because they, they don't eat sugar, they don't take salt, they don't eat this cooked food and they grow in a natural way and that's why they are so stronger. So that's the same thing if we actually follow, even we can be stronger, the natural. So we should respect the nature and we should live with the nature and that's how we can become more stronger. Now. If we get an infection, a mild grain infection, suddenly we take antibiotics. We don't allow our system to fight itself and develop the immunity. We take those medicines and suppress our immune system. Rather, wait for some time. Unless you really need a medicine, you have to wait. Allow your body to acquire the immunity and then become stronger. 
so that we have to really take care of it the immune system to become stronger the childhood or as the baby is born it has the highest ability to improve its immune system because we protect our children very much inside the house don't allow them to ex uh, get exposed to the nature so they don't develop the immune system in a better way so they become very weak now we take an example like a child grown in city and child grown in a village now if the child grown in a village even if it drinks that local or dirty water or pond water nothing happens to that child but the same child who is grown in a city if that child drinks the water he develops the gi infection diarrhea loose motion and that is a very simple straightforward example to understand the exposure to the nature is very very important as in it in children and also in adults to some extent we have arthritis knee arthritis in particular on rise that is because of our obesity being on rise and second is that weak muscles and weak bones are on rise leading to the early arthritis of the knee if the knee is damaged completely as you know we consider replacement of that knee but however it won't actually match to the natural knee so it's better to preserve the natural knee so that its functional ability will be much higher than the replaced knee so that's why the the health that is exercise and not to add on the weight is a very 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 important I, as we know that health is well particularly these days it is it actually fits in very well so uh, nature respecting the nature will always benefit us in terms of health in terms of wealth and everything